Hello everybody. Welcome to uh, part three of your travel guide. Um, what to do when you get back. So in the previous two videos, we've covered the pre-travel authorization form. We've um, covered how to book your trip. And really there's just a few steps to do after you've come back um, to, to finalize this whole travel procedure. So welcome back. Now what? Well, you got to fill out your travel reimbursement form. Um, and this is, this is a really important step because your reimbursement form plus that, um, the, the approved copy of your travel form plus any receipts that you have um, equals the money. This is how you're going to get um, money back um, associated with the trip. So um, let's, oops, let's take a moment to look at the form. Um, and then we'll kind of go over some specific tips. So the form here, it looks a lot like our um, pre-travel authorization form. Um, you know, I call that the blue form. This is the red form. So you're going to fill out the top section just like you normally did. And then you'll now see um, specific dates um, with costs um, associated with them. Now, these are all costs that happened um, sort of during the trip. And you'll actually see right here, this important line right here down at the bottom. It's a little hard to read on this, but it says, none of the expenses listed on this form were charged to a district procurement card, right? This is about um, getting a check from the district to say, hey, this is the money that we owe you. So if you book through Travel CTM, um, for instance, then you probably won't have any lodging costs. Um, this example that I'm using right here, um, the conference that I went to had um, the, the hotel I booked personally um, because it was a, a, a short notice thing and um, Travel CTM didn't have uh, uh, access to the block of rooms at the hotel at the conference center. Um, so I had to book through the conference. So, um, well, what are the important things to note? So basically each day, you're going to want to um, keep track of your costs. So um, let's go over a few things. So for instance, um, you know, I didn't have mileage, I didn't have parking. And on this day, I didn't have any shuttle and taxi because I was able to walk through this. And this is a trip where I, I'm like, it looks like, oh, I don't have anything. And I'll talk a little bit about um, where I put the my shuttle and taxi uh, fee on this one. Just a second. So the probably the most important one to put in first is your per diem because Every time you travel, you're going to get per diem uh, associations with it. Um, and so that's going to be really important. Remember, per diem is for um, is money allocated to you for food. Now, you don't need to have receipts for the per diem. It's just you're going to get $75 every day that you're away. That's kind of the, the thing. If you spent $20 on food because you bought stuff at Trader Joe's and just ate in your room, you're still getting $75. If you went out to fancy sushi every day, really lived it up, you're still getting $75. So the receipts aren't tied to your food. Um, so in each of these blocks, you're just going to want to fill out the costs associated to it. So you took a Uber or a Lyft, um, you know, hey, it was 23, you know, 54 or whatever it is. So just make sure that you fill these out. I tend to fill them out like day by day. So when I'm uh, on a trip, and um, I'll have this form kind of ready to go. And, um, you know, for instance, I'll put in my per diems right away. And then if I have um, costs to coast a shuttle and taxi, I'll just add those in right then. Okay, so what are some things that kind of stand out um, as important to do? So one thing that's important to do is that um, you need to have a column for each day you're away. And in some of the examples, we were traveling out on a Sunday and coming back on a Friday, which is six days. So if you went into the six day issue, then you need to fill out a second one of these forms and put the sixth day on the form. So that's what the travel folks have asked us to do. Um, and so you just end up submitting two forms. That's where my uh, shuttle and taxi on this trip is, is that I have it on one day because I bought a transit card. Um, and so I was using public transportation. So I just put it in one spot. Um, on the other form. So um, there you go. Pretty straightforward. Um, you have your daily totals. Now, if you do have hotel and lodging 
uh, things. Make sure to find out the total price, like after taxes and all of that stuff. If there's a, you know, a resort fee or, you know, sometimes they call it where there's a little extra added on to it. Um, you know, so get a receipt at the end of the day uh, or at the end of the thing. And then I just divided it by the number of days that I stayed. So five days, and then I evenly put it each day um, just because it made the most sense then. So then it'll add up. There'll be more signatures to get, and then you'll be ready to submit it. And this form with your travel pre thing, plus any receipts that you incurred, all gonna be what you need. Okay, so what are some tips for this one? So the tips for this one is, if you go to a conference, um, you need to have a picture of your badge. So um, if you attended you know, some great ACD conference or something like that, um, take a picture of your badge. That's one of the things that you're going to submit to, um, to confirm that, for instance, that you actually attended the conference. So um, I just do that first day at the, the conference. I immediately snap a picture of my badge um, so I don't accidentally lose it or damage it and have to track it down later. Really important for getting your uh, conference money reimbursed um, or, or, you know, this whole thing approved. Okay, um, and I do the same thing with any receipts I do. So if I take a taxi, if I pay for a shuttle to go from the airport, I ask for a receipt and I just immediately snap a picture of it because, well, I don't wanna be thinking about little pieces of paper and I'm gonna have to submit it digitally anyway. So take the picture right away, no problems. Um, another reminder, is no receipts needed for food. Uh, your per diem is covering all of that business. Um, get a receipt on the hotel on the final day that you check out. Um, again, you know, that just confirms that the price is what you did. Um, I often ask them to email it to me, but I get them printed out too. I take a picture of it and then I have that in case there's any questions. Um, submitting it right off the bat, submit ASAP. So as soon as you get back, submit this form because it can take a little while for your money to get paid back um, for these um, kinds of things. And especially if you ended up say paying for a hotel or something, um, then you, you know, you, you really want to have the um, money handled for um, uh, so that you end up, um, you know, not having to, to, to sit on a couple thousand dollars out. Um, so just submit it right away. Um, but that being said, you know, be patient. Um, it can take a little bit um, for them to go through the paperwork, hit your account. Um, and so it, you know, you know, will often take a couple of couple of weeks to, to make it happen. So that, um, those are, those are the, the main tips. Okay, so quick final note um, is that, you know, most of the time you've traveled because you've gone on some sort of training, some sort of conference experience, you know, you've gone to learn and, um, you know, do, do professional development in, in most regards. Um, and so make sure to use what you learned. Uh, try to do something you learned right away. Um, you know, you know, you're going to be fresh and excited from the experience that you had. Um, and so finding a way to, you know, keep that momentum moving forward, um, you know, so that that, that training and stuff, um, you know, ends up being high value to your students. So something to keep in mind, um, and then share, share out your experience. Um, if your trip, um, was really great, um, let us know, um, you know, a lot of people helped, um, to organize these trips and, you know, send them a thank you note. And, um, you know, also just let people know that, hey, maybe you should try this out. This is some training that you might like. You might really like going to this conference and let your peers know. So when they're planning um, their spending and their experiences that they can uh, go to things that are meaningful. So thanks for uh, listening to all of these videos. Uh, you should be all set to travel with PPS. Cheers.